Hi everybody, it's springtime here in Missouri. That means one thing for me, it's snagging season. Now I gotta tell you that for years, I used a big old gaff. Once I would get the fish up to the edge of the bank and then drag that fish on up and secure him with a line. But we have switched recently to using a PVC pole snare, which doesn't harm the fish in case you have to let him go and it holds onto the fish really well once you lock it in. I'm gonna show you how to make one of these. It's very simple, very inexpensive, and it's gonna change the way you fish. Okay, materials you need. You need a wood dowel or a piece of half inch or three quarter EMT conduit. We're gonna make a little handle out of this. You need a one inch piece of PVC. We'll cut that to length. This is the most important piece that you're gonna get. It is a closed line tensioner. And what it does is this little plunger allows the release of the cable. The cable will come down through here, we pull the cable and it locks it in. And I'll show you more of that later. You're gonna need eighth inch crimp ferrules, a one inch PVC end cap. I like to use eighth inch coated cable. So I just got a little roll of it. Uh, you find it pretty cheap at the hardware store. There's enough to make several of them here. And then some cleaner and glue for the PVC. Okay, now these are some of the tools you'll need and I'm gonna give you several options because there's no right or wrong way to do this. The main thing is be safe. So I neglected to tell you, you need a little bit of duct tape. We're gonna duct tape the handle when we're done. You need a drill with a drill bit that is just slightly larger than the plastic coating on the cable. You need a sawzaw or a hacksaw or a grinder with a cutoff wheel in order to do some of the cuts. I have actually a cable cutter that I've had for years. It's pretty handy. Now you can take a grinder and grind through the cable real slow. It'll cut it nice and clean. Obviously a tape a marker, always safety glasses. For the ferrules, now if you don't if you don't have a ferrule crimper, I happen to have one. If you don't have one of these, you can take a pair of vice grips or a pair of pliers, and it's not as pretty, but it'll be just as functional to crimp the ferrules down on the cable. Okay, you can make these any length you want, up to 10 foot. I measured the back of my truck diagonally and I can fit up to eight foot diagonally. I'm probably gonna shorten that up about six inches so that the, the whole snare fits inside of my truck and I can close the topper. So first thing we need to do, we're gonna measure. Seven foot six, right there. be our cut line. All right, we got that. We're gonna clean up the end. You don't wanna leave those burrs in there. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to get a couple of holes on the far edges of this cap exactly opposite of each other. And it's almost easier just to turn the cap over and drill from the inside out. So we'll start the first hole. Now I'm drilling at a little bit of an angle, so. Nice and slow, so it doesn't grab. Kind of started grabbing. All right, there's one. And you notice I kind of drilled a little bit of an angle. So the angle is a little bit like this, and the next one will be a little bit like this. two holes. Okay, so the next thing you got to do is you have to strip a little bit of plastic off of the end of the cable. So I'm just going to take a knife and 
It doesn't have to be a lot, about a quarter inch. We're gonna put a crimp ferrule on the end of this once we thread it through the cap. Perfect. Okay, now we're gonna feed it through from the inside. Get it through. We're gonna make a fairly large loop for right now. We're gonna bring it back through we're gonna put a ferrule on it. What's gonna happen is that ferrule will stop against this hole and it won't allow this end to pull out. Okay, that's crimped on. That'll go in there. Now you'll see how that lays in there and makes a nice loop like this. If I would have drilled these straight, this loop would have got all funky and you can't hardly get it across the tail of the fish. Next thing we need to do is measure how long we need before we cut the cable. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you why a cable cutter is so sweet. I've got the cable marked about where I want it. You just simply put it in here and it's cut. It's so easy. Now I left it a little long so that we can vary how big that front loop's gonna be. So, the next thing we need to do is feed the cable all the way through our pole. Okay. We got it all the way out the other end, just dangling. Okay, the next step is we got to glue the end cap onto the shaft of the snare. So if you've never worked with PVC before, it's super easy. You have a cleaner primer that you need to use first, and then you have an all-purpose glue. Super simple. So we're going to clean this first. Now watch out, this will get all over your hands, it will get everywhere. So we just wipe this around on the inside. That primes it. We'll go do that on the outside here too. Okay, we'll give that a second to dry. And we're gonna put a little bit of glue on it. We don't want it to come back off, so we're gonna put it, don't get it on the cable, but we're gonna put it on both sides. And we're just gonna slide them together. There. Make sure that the cable that's going to go in and out slides freely. Perfect. Okay, now we've flopped it over and we're on the other end. So we want to take our clothesline tensioner, and they usually come with these little D rings on them. Leave it on for right now. So we're going to feed it in to the tapered end here. Feed it down, kind of like this, so it looks like that. Now we're gonna slide that in, and it's a pretty snug fit. But what I like to do is, I got an old socket that'll fit right over. It won't catch on this, but it will catch on the D-loop. And then if you just take a hammer, tap that a little bit, there is absolutely no need to glue it in, it is stuck. It will not come out. Then you can take this little D loop off. We don't need that, that's just gonna get in the way. Okay, our next step is we gotta make a handle for this. So I just have some three quarter inch conduit laying around. You can, again, use a wood dowel. You can use anything you have laying around. Don't make this tougher than it has to be. So first thing we need to do, and I've got a pretty big hand, so I think four inches on a T-handle is about right for me. So I'm gonna measure over two inches where I'm gonna drill the hole, and four inches where I'm gonna cut this off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
we got the perfect size handle for my hand. So once again, we have to cut about a quarter inch of the plastic sheathing off of this. Just let it slide on down. Once again, we get the crimpers out. I'm just gonna make it a little easier this time for me. I'm gonna put the ferrule right in here. And gently grab it with the crimpers. Put the cable in there. It. Now all we have to do is put a little duct tape on this handle and we're ready to roll. The duct tape will act as a plastic coating. It'll keep any sharp edges from cutting you and it holds this ferrule against the handle. I just wrap it around. Not necessarily real pretty because once I smash it down, Starts to look pretty good already. There we go, that's what your handle should look like. And all you have to do, pull the plunger, shove that in, I'll show you the other end. This is a really long, but now you got a uh, very nice snare. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. We're gonna have many more great ideas.